All right, g'day. Welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Now, we have here a comparison video between the Workos TS11 and the Manka MC13-2. These are both TIR optic lens lights. They both operate with 18350s. They are both incredible, incredible lights. But which one is better? Let's find out. All right, so accessories for the Manka are the user manual, of course, a USB-C to USB-A charging cable, and that is going to charge the USB-C charging port on the back there. Now, you will also get a spare O-ring and a lanyard, which is, uh, you know, typical for accessories with a light, so good to see that they've, they've done that. And I guess one of the major things that sets this apart from the Workos is you get a diffuser. And I love that. Look at this. You just secure it on the top like that, and you've got yourself a lantern. It's just incredible. I love that. But here's something else that's really cool. Check this out. It is also a magnetic base. So the Manka can be utilized as a lantern as well as a magnetic lantern. So that's uh, a couple of really cool things about this light that the Workos does not have. Now, the Workos accessories, if we open this box here, you've got your user manual, and it's got the uh, Andrel uh, driver in it, so it's gonna give you all these different things that you can do, really, really cool. You will get your USB-A to USB-C charging cable, very, very long charging cable, and it will also charge a USB-C port at the back. But look at that. That is real depth. The Manka did not have that type of depth of the USB-C uh, port. So that's a big plus in my books. And it fits in just nicely like that. So yeah, big plus in my books, guys. I, I, I like a really, really secure, deep uh, uh, USB-C port. And that's what this has. That's all for accessories, folks. So... You know, um, would have loved a diffuser. I wonder if this diffuser fits on this. Yep, it does. So look, would have loved that diffuser. Absolutely great. Um, I'm not too fussed about the magnetic tail cap. This one does not have it, but uh, it's, it's awesome that the Manka's got it. But no diffuser is just, you know, it sets these two apart, I think. All right, so now both are operating off an 18350 uh, battery. The Workos has a 3.7 volt, 1100 milliamp. And the Manka has a 3.7 volt, 1,100 milliamp as well. So identical batteries in these two. Let's go ahead and install them. So I'll do the Workos first. Unscrew the body. Oh. Whack this battery in. You've got a spring at the head, by the way, and a spring at the tail. So that's nice. Really good contact there. And we're going to screw that up tightly, make sure it's working. Yep. Okay, and the Manka. Now, there is something, uh, a hidden surprise with the Manka here. Springs at both ends too, thank you very much. Now, before we move on, I've gotta show you this hidden thing about this, this Manka. So, okay, 18350, right? They're both 18350 bodies. However, if I turn the back like this, keep turning, and then keep turning until it secures in, that, my friends, has just become an 18650 light. Holy macaroni and cheese. How cool is that? So we've got a we've got a an 18350 and 18650 light interchangeably in the same body. That's such a cool thing to do. I'm so impressed with them for doing that. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to tell you all the parameters in the 18350 configuration. But the fact that this goes 18650 is uh, it sets these two apart again. So we've got the diffuser, we've got the magnetic tail cap, and we've got the 18650 configuration. Come on, uh, Workos, lift your game. All right, so let's go over the design and feel because um, believe it or not, these do feel very different in the hand. So first things first, just from holding them like this, those of you who have smaller hands are going to prefer the Workos. 
and those of you like me who have a bit larger hands are going to prefer the Manka, just because there is a slight difference in body length. Now, the, the length of the entire light isn't different, but if you see here, the, the side switch is actually a little bit higher on the Manka than it is on the Workos, and then that leaves more body room. Whereas the Workos body room, there's not that much. So the, as you can see here, the head of the Workos, is, it, it goes for a lot longer than the head of the Manka. See the difference in, in head there. So because of that, the Manka is actually more comfortable for me to, to use, absolutely. Now, that doesn't mean the Workos is uncomfortable because it's not, it's really, really not, guys. But the Manka for me is a more comfortable light to, to use, that's all. All right, so both of these lights are utilizing a TIR optic lens, which means that you are gonna get a very focused beam with very little spill. There's not gonna be much spill, guys. There'll be a bit of bleeding and a bit of um, kind of uh, peripheral light because of how much light's coming out of these lights, but you are not going to get a uh, much spill at all. It's just all focused light. So if we just take a look at the Manka, we've got a smooth bezel at the top here, falls into some nice uh, heat sink, heat dissipation areas. You've got on one side your USB-C port there. The flap's a bit shonky. I don't like the flap. It, uh, it often just comes off by itself. So that is a real negative for me. Very, very, very annoying. And uh, the side switch is really nice side switch. There it is there. Have a listen. So not as responsive as the Workos. So I like the Workos side switch better. But uh, in terms of the body as well, we've got some nice knurling, some nice finishing. Obviously, it tail stands. Got room for a lanyard here. Magnetic tail cap, as I showed you. Uh, so all in all, nice build light. Feels quality. You can hold it in your hand, no dramas at all. Chuck it on turbo. Chuck it on strobe. Get crazy with it. Why not? Um, and look, it is really, really a nice little light for just, you know, everyday, everyday purposes, as well as it's a beast of a thrower. So, you know, this tiny little thing, you can be using it around the house and then you can be using it, you know, to see up a, a tree bloody 50 meters away. So great, great light. All right. The Workos, a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, larger head, but apart from that, basically the same. We've got a smooth uh, bezel as well. Also TIR optic lens down there. So again, focused beam. Uh, now you do have heat sinks on the head where the Manka did not. You've got heat sinks on the neck as well. As I showed you, very, very deep uh, USB-C port, which I love. Then the body just falls down here. Very, very short body. And you can actually take the tail cap off as well as the body because you can also interchange this into an 18, oh, into an 18650 uh, light if you wish. You just need to buy the 18650 body. Doesn't come with it, which is a real shame, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Now, one thing I do really like about this light is that the tail cap here kicks out just slightly so that it makes a little bit more comfortable. However, trust me when I say this, guys, it's a very small light. Check it out here. These two back fingers are not even on the light at all. So this light is being operated by three fingers, my thumb, my pointer, and my middle finger. That's it. These two sit here and just kind of secure it in the hand, but it is a very, very small light. So just be aware of that. Uh, and maybe just to be safe, when you get this, or if you get this, get the 18650 body as well, and then you just got the best of both worlds. All right, so let's measure these. So as I said, look, it's it's very, very much uh, very close with these two. They're basically identical, um, but let's just have a look. So from head to tail, the Manka is gonna come in at nine centimeters exactly, whereas the Workos is going to come in at 8.8 .8 centimeters. So you've got literally two millimeters in difference. Now, the size of the face from the outside of the bezel is 3.9 centimeters for the Manka. And outside of the bezel is 3.9 for the Workos as well. So identical there. As you can see, put them together. Yeah, they're just absolutely flush. Now, the neck width, the widest part of the neck here on the Manka is 3.1 centimeters, and the widest part of the Workos 
is 2.7 centimeters. So, so far, that's the biggest difference. Um, and again, that makes the Manker a bit more comfortable. It kicks out in the back just as much as the front, whereas the Workos only kicks out at the front, not so much at the back. So again, just makes it a bit more comfortable to hold the Manker. Yeah. Now, body width of the Manker is the same all the way down. We've got here about two and a half centimeters, whereas the Workos, as I mentioned, the body is 2.4 centimeters, but then the tail cap is 2.6 centimeters. So again, two millimeter difference does add to comfort in the Workos. Uh, however, still, because of the size and dimensions of the main cart, for my hands, it fits better. See how my uh, my fourth finger is actually touching the end of the light here, whereas with the Workos, it's not at all. So that does make a, a nice difference in, in comfort for me. All right, so now the, uh, the main cart with the battery included comes in at 125.7 grams, and the Workos with the battery comes in at 112.75. Wow, okay, so exactly 13 grams difference is are these two lights. And you know what, you can't really, I mean, oh yeah, I suppose when I do that I can, but you know, they're so small and compact that you're not gonna notice that, you know, that that difference in, in weight. And to be honest, I think a bit more weight in the make is quite nice. All right, let's go over the UI. So um, as I said before, the Andril 2 uh, driver is in the Workos. All right, so with the Andril uh, driver, there are a whole lot of options. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of them uh, in this review. I'll go through, I'll try to go through most of them in the review solo with the Workos, but because this is a comparison, I'm just gonna show you on the, on the manual of what this thing can do. So there it is there. So if we look up the top, you've got your simple UI, which is just your moonlight. Uh, it's got two moonlight modes, moonlight low and moonlight high. You've got a lockout. You've got smooth ramping, which is really, really nice. I love smooth ramping. And then you've got things like battery check. Uh, you've got tint ramping as well, which is really cool. And then you've got your double step to straight to turbo and things like that. In your advanced UI, that's where you're going to get things like candlelight mode and just all sorts of different uh, configurations that you that you can get, all right? So I'm not going to go through all of that today. I'll go through some of the simple UI. So for example, when I turn the light on, it's going to come on in the last output. And then if I press and hold, it's going to smooth ramp like that. So that's the lowest output there, which is one lumen. And then if I ramp all the way up to the highest, that is 2000 lumens. Now, one lumen will last for 13 days and 2000 lumens will last for 48 minutes. So to lock this light out from off, I'll click four times. So one, two, three, four. All right, now light is locked. It just does that, okay? So light is locked. Now from lockout mode, this it's going to do some flashing different colors. Now that's just your and drill. You can turn that off. But if I want moonlight mode, a very, very light moonlight mode from lockout, I just press once and hold. And there you can see that there, it's coming on like that. And if I want a bit higher, I just click then hold. And that's a bit higher of a moonlight mode there. See that? Now, if I want to come out of lockout mode, one, two, three, four, and I'm out. Okay. So from off, turn it on, last known output, press and hold. It's just going to ramp. It's either going to ramp all the way up or all the way down, and you can stop wherever you want to stop. So if I want to stop there, that's fine. If I want to keep going, that's fine. So there's plenty you can do with this driver. And as I said, I'm not going to go into everything, but the main things are from off, press and hold, and it comes onto your moonlight mode. And then if you keep holding, it's just going to cycle and or, or ramp. So ramping is really cool in this light. I really love it. But if you want to get to turbo quickly from any uh, any output, just double click and it'll get you straight to turbo. Double click again, straight back to your last output. Single click off, good to go. Now the Manka has uh, a few different things as well. So the Manka from off, you will get to your moonlight mode as well. And then if you press and hold, it's going to step up to another moonlight mode. Press and hold again, step up to another moonlight mode and then press and hold again, it's gonna go back to moonlight mode. So this has got a moonlight mode setting and then a general setting. So uh, let's get back to the first moonlight mode, that's that. Now that is 0.1 of a lumen, which will last for 55 hours. 
Then if I press and hold, it gets up to one lumen, which will last for 25 hours. And then press and hold, it's gonna step up to 20 lumens, which will last for 25 hours. And then if I press and hold again, it steps up to 50 lumens, which will last for 18 hours. But I can't get to the general mode setting if I keep pressing and holding, because it's just gonna cycle through the three uh, low mode setting or eco mode settings. But if I turn it off, turn it back on, now we're in the uh, general mode setting. So let's see, let's just make sure we're, we were at low. Okay, so low here is 100 lumens, it's gonna last for six hours and 20 minutes, and it's gonna reach 140 meters. Now, pressing and holding, that's medium mode, that is 450 lumens, it'll last for an hour and 10 minutes, and it's gonna reach 320 meters. Pressing and holding again, that is high mode. High mode is 750 lumens. It'll last for 38 minutes and it'll reach 400 lumens because it's actually pushed out by 40,000 candela. So TIR optic lenses, guys, crazy candela. Now, if I press and hold, it's just gonna go back to low. So low, medium, high, low, medium, high. But what, do I, what happens if I want turbo? Double click, that is turbo. So let's get it down to low uh, to medium, so you can really see the step up. Double click, that is turbo. Turbo is 1800 lumens, you'll get for 30 minutes, and it will uh, reach 600 meters because it's pushed out by 90,000 candela. So difference between turbo mode here and turbo mode here is 2000 lumens in the Workos, 1800 lumens in the Manka, 48 minute runtime in the Workos, 30 minute runtime in the Manka, 616 meters throw in the Workos, 600 meters in the Manka, 94,750 candela in the Workos, 90,000 in the Manka. Now, let's leave these lights here and see how hot they get. All right, so both of them are quite warm, but neither of them are too hot to hold. So that's really, really brilliant. That's over a minute and a half, and neither of them are too hot to hold. And I don't even know if there's been a step down, to be honest, because they're both screaming hot still. Now, the Workos is IP68 water rated and one meter drop resistance. The Manka is IP67 water rated and one meter drop resistance as well. So a bit better water resistance in the Workos and that doesn't surprise me because of how secure that uh, USB-C port is, whereas the Manka's USB-C port is not very secure at all. All right, let's take these guys outside, see how they do against each other on turbo and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. See you in a sec. All right, Workos, Manka, Workos, Manka, Workos, Manka. Hmm, Workos, Manka. I think Workos has a better hotspot, to be honest. Workos, Manka. Workos, Manka. Yeah, there's the Manka. There's the Workos. Oh, yeah, definitely. Manka. Oh, actually, Workos. Manka. Workos, oh, that's hard. Workos, Manka, Workos, Manka. Looks maybe like more light in the Manka actually. Workos, Manka, Workos, Manka. Hmm. Manka, Workos. Man, that is hard. I think the Workos has got a more distinct hotspot. Oh, but then you look at the Manka and like, no, it doesn't. Manka's got a bigger hotspot. We can agree on that. But at a distance, Workos, Manka. Yeah, at, at a distance, the Workos has got a better hotspot, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. I'm calling it. Yep. Workos has a better hotspot at a distance for sure. Manka, Workos. Manka, Workos. All right. I think we got there in the end, guys. See ya. All righty. So now. Absolutely amazing. It's really, really difficult to tell uh, which one's better. I think I liked the Workos better, but again, uh, it's just too hard to tell. One minute I'm saying Manka, next minute I'm saying Workos. So it's really too hard to tell. I'm going to call it pretty even when it comes to performance, to be honest, guys. Um, but in terms of which one I'd like better, 
I actually think I would like the workhorse better. And to be honest, my, my only reasoning behind that really is the smooth ramping. I love, I'm just such a sucker for smooth ramping, but also the side switch. I love a distinct click. Um, I, I'm not a fan of plastic side switches as well, or metal side switches. I really like rubber. And look, I'm just, I'm a sucker for that. And I'm a sucker for the, for the smooth ramping. So for those reasons, I'd take the workhorse. Um, now, they do differ a little bit in price. So the Manka comes in at about 120 bucks, whereas the Workos you can get for about 50, 60 bucks. So, you know, big difference in, in price here. Um, and again, that's probably why I'd go the Workos as well. But look, build quality, they're both pretty even, to be honest. Uh, I, just, I just think that the smooth ramping and the side switch for me is a big winner. But again, you know, this thing's got magnetic tail switch, 18650 configuration built in one with an 18350 comes with a diffuser. Let's just check that diffuser out as well, shall we? So I'll chuck that on there, click that on, and you know you've got your little lantern in the corner. I love that. You can't go wrong with that. Um, so look, really, really nice lights. Uh, both SFT40s, I forgot to say, both SFT40s, which is really cool. So look, very, very similar lights. But uh, yeah, it just depends if price comes into it, you'll go the workhorse, or if you want the 18650 built in, you want the magnetic uh, tail cap, you want the diffuser, go the manker. Uh, it just depends, guys. All right, thanks for watching uh, another video, and until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.